a X-linked question. Problem, yeah. This is how I would do an X-linked problem. So let's say big A equals colorblind. I'm sorry. Let's say little a equals colorblind. And big A equals normal. The plus means normal. So uh, this problem would be such that this would be my female. It could be big A, little a, and he could be big A, y. So the term we use for this is holand holandric. Would be the term. There's another word called hemizygous. Hemizygous? Yeah. H-E-M-I-Zygous. Or so you've heard of heterozygous, right? Mm -hmm. I can't call him heterozygous. I can't call him homozygous. So the term is because he only has one allele. So he's hemozygous. All males are hemozygous on their sex. For chromosomes. For colorblind. For colorblind. Wait, all males are Amy's eyes. For, for any trait, though, on their sex gene. Because he can only have one allele. So then for any sex gene, not just for any colorblind. The Y doesn't have the gene. Right. And you will see it used elsewhere when there's only one allele. But for now, we'll just leave it at hemizygous. That's how the male is described. He can't be homozygous. He can't be heterozygous. So he's hemizygous. Why can't I call him homozygous recessive? Because he's only got one, he only has one, one allele. kind of allele. I can't even call him homozygous dominant. It's not homozygous because he only has one. So it's X big A, that's all I can say. He's normal. But from that, I can tell you all his daughters are going to be normal. Every daughter he has must be normal because he gets an, an X from his father and an X from the mother. So there's no way that a daughter can have the trait, show the trait of colorblind. But can be a carrier, maybe? That's no. okay. Carrier. Okay. Yeah. But see, I can't look at you and say you're a carrier. Yeah. You follow? I, I can look at all the generations of your family and say carrier, and people know that that's fine, but that can happen. Because he's going to have two kinds of daughters. So one can be a carry and one can be homozygous norm. Okay. Right? Do you need to do a pedic or punish square to see that? You can see that, right? Correct. Right. Yeah, go ahead. For the punish square. So does that make it clearer? So the sons can be normal and be colorblind, and the daughters will be all normal. So she can produce two kinds of daughters, carrier and normal, but I just look at them both being normal. And um, she will produce two kinds of sons, literally. A son that's normal and a son that is uh, colorblind. But that's how I suggest to do the cross. If it's X linked, I would put it on X and that. But if it's an autosomal trait, then this is an example of an autosomal trait. Because everybody, whether it's male or female, are going to get it. So that's an example of an autosomal trait. I don't care about the sex. But an X linked trait, I have to look to see whether it's a male or female, and do the Punnett square. Are you saying that uh, colorblindness only have to be male? No. Okay. Let's do it. Let's 
you, let's do this. Let's have two colorblind people marry. What will they produce? Colorblind kids. Y'all, every last one of them. <laughs> right? What will happen if I had this? Oh, that's... What will I get from that? Um, two, two, oh, that two that are and two that are. I don't know how many people have. I have normal female and a colorblind female. A normal male and a colorblind male. Do the punny square. Can you see it from there? That this female will have little a, little a. This female will have big a, little a. That male will be normal. That male would be colorblind. So I, you, you can't say an X-linked recessive only occurs in males. You would say that the mother is a carrier and the father is colorblind, right? The mother is the carrier. That's another way of saying it. That is another way of saying it. I would say a heterozygous mother that yeah. is, that's colorblind. Yeah, that that's a true. normal. Okay. A normal hetero heterozygous, and we're looking at the gene. But it doesn't matter as long as you can do it and make the cross. Okay. And then you can work with it. So I don't want to give the impression that um, color X linked recessive are always going to show up in the male. More males will show it, I can say that, in a whole pedigree. More males will show the trait, because the male only have one X. So whatever he gets, he's going to show it. But the female can have two recessive A's. OK, then. So any other questions that came up while we were doing this? OK, so let me uh, go into this other phase. which is probabilities. And um, what I want just to add to that is, um, I guess most of the examples that we use, uh, X-Link is exceptional. Most of the examples we use, we're, we're just doing autosomal traits because uh, we always do big A, big A. Let's, let's start a little bit different. Let's say a red, is crossed to a white. The F1 is all red. And the F2 is um, let's say 90 red and um, 30 white. And I ask you, what's the genotype of the parent? That's the parent? a ratio. Oh, yeah. Heter heterozygous. I could have a, oh, okay. a green that's crossed to a white. The F1 is intermediate. Does that mean that they're co-dominant? When you say F1 is, the parents would be co-dominant? 